One of the significant challenges faced today by managers is managing the workload of the people that they're responsible for. Case Manager gives us that ability to very easily take a look at all of the work that's assigned to people within a manager's workload. So they can look at all the work, in this case by task, and see where all the claim processing tasks are assigned to different users. In the case where someone may call in sick, there's instances where someone may be out for an extended period of time, there'll be that need to be able to select work and reassign it to different users. The manager has the ability to go ahead in and select multiple work items. In this case, Maria is going to be out for some time. So we're going to take her work and reassign that work to Steve. So we can do a search on those users who are available to reassign the work to and select that new user. We can now see that that work is now removed from Maria's in-basket and placed into Steve's personal in-basket. We can filter the in-basket to verify that that work is in fact there. And then when Maria returns, we're able to put that work back into her personal in-basket through the simple in-basket interface without the need to run additional functions or tasks within the system. So we can go ahead and move that work right back. We see that workload goes from three to one. And when we remove our filter, we can see that all the work is back in its original format, in its original location. It gives managers a great deal of ability to shift work around. Additionally, work could be reassigned to a different user. In this case, we're going to reassign a manager task to somebody who's going to be evaluated to see if they're capable of handling this new level of work. When work is assigned to a different user, traditionally it would become inaccessible or locked, unable to be viewed. Case Manager allows that work to still be opened in a read-only format, giving more ability to see the entire environment. So we can go ahead and open that task work item and look at it. One of the things to note is we aren't able to make any decisions on that those decisions are grayed out. If we move the work back to our own personal in-basket, that's going to now give us control of that work. So when we open it up, now we're going to see that we have that ability to now act upon the work.